Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the Hermes Birkin. So Hermes is a brand, if you're not part of the handbag community, and the Birkin is one of their most popular bags. I will insert a picture. Everyone in the handbag community has been doing this tag is the Birkin a status symbol. And I didn't think I had anything to add to this, this conversation, but my friend Loki asked me if I would do a video on it. So thanks Loki. And this is probably gonna be a quick one because I don't have a lot of thoughts about it. Um, I never got into Hermes because the price point is so high and I'm lower middle class. So it would be obscene for me to spend 10K plus on a bag. And if I'm being honest, I feel like $2,000 is my limit for a handbag. And even then that's pushing it. Like I feel like less than 1K I would be more comfortable spending on a bag, which is still not something I can afford, but it's something that I'm willing to put all my money into. And that's why I don't think the Birkin is a status symbol because anyone could afford one. Anyone could funnel all their money into a Birkin and maybe they could get that Birkin but not really have any, any other asset. So I don't think it's a status symbol because anyone who loves to collect handbags like I do could get a Birkin if they wanted to. Whereas I think it's a lot harder to like buy a house or maybe it's easy to finance a fancy car, but I would, I see like nice cars as more of a status symbol than handbags because, and also you could just fake a handbag. You could just buy a knockoff. And if you get a super fake, uh, no one can really tell the difference. Or I can't tell by looking at someone's bag if it's fake or not, unless it's just like a really cheap, obvious knockoff. Uh, but even aside from fakes, you could just, Dale was saying, you could just funnel all your money into handbags and then you could have that handbag but not have anything else. And then Loki was saying, uh, not everyone even recognizes. You know, only people in the handbag community would even know what a Birkin is. So, so yeah, I would say it is a status symbol for all of us in the handbag community because we would spot a Birkin from a mile away and start drooling. I mean, unless it's like an obvious knockoff. Uh, or some knockoffs are really good. I have my Corday New York bags, which are beautiful, but I only use here. <clears throat> so I only use these if I want to like carry a laptop or carry Kevin's iPad. And then I can, I can fit my AirPad Pro, what is it called? MacBook Air. I can fit my MacBook Air in here. I can fit my, I can fit Kevin's iPad and then all my other daily essentials, but that's literally the only time I use it. And then for uh, traveling, I guess, um, but it really doesn't hold a lot because of the shape, um, unless you just leave it undone, but it still wants to kind of come in at the top. I just don't think it's worth 10K for this style of bag. Um, this is all really fussy. You don't ever wanna, or I don't ever wanna close it because it's really fussy to get in and out of if you close it. It's just a, it's just a semi-functional tote bag, to be honest. So I don't think it's worth $10,000 or whatever they charge for them. And I'm glad that I got that Corday New York bag because now I know that I have no desire to spend that kind of money on a bag. <laughs> so thank you to everyone who tagged me in this. I will try to link everyone's videos who I know who have already done the topic. And I'm sorry if I miss you because it seems like everyone in the handbag community has done this. If anyone from Hermes is watching this video, please put one of your gorgeous patterns on a bag. Now I understand, I, I do appreciate the like minimal branding on a lot of Hermes bags. It's just like a solid colored leather bag. And so you just, you have to know that it's Hermes to know that it's an Hermes bag. Uh, and I do like that sometimes, like with the Oran, sand, Oran, Oran sandals. You just have to know that they're Hermes or, you know, anyone who doesn't know Hermes and know about Oren sandals isn't going to know that they're really expensive. Um, and I do appreciate that kind of minimal branding. However, a lot of Hermes bags are so terribly boring and Hermes makes so many beautiful patterns. Like I'll see if I can find a picture of the tea time pattern. That's one of my favorites, which is just a really cute whimsical pattern. So cute on a bag. 
Uh, they also have a lot of really beautiful, intricate patterns that would be really cool on a bag. I think maybe I could justify spending a couple thousand on a bag if it had, like, a beautiful pattern on it like that. But there's no way I'm ever spending Hermes prices. But something to think about, because your bags are so freaking boring. Uh, and you have beautiful patterns to work with. I don't know why you don't just slap one on a bag. So, in conclusion, while I do think it's quite a flex, I don't think... Well, I guess it is a status symbol if you can afford to drop that much money on a bag, but it's not a status symbol that everyone is going to recognize. But I also like what Lumi Level Up, what Mary from Lumi Level Up said. Uh, she said, if you think that you're better than anyone else because you have a Birkin, then you need to check yourself. Oh, that's not cute. Okay. There we go. This buckle's really big. It's hard to... <laughs> You just have to have your shirt like sitting right on it so you don't like expose your belly, but also so the Medusa head is showing. <laughs> okay, I love you guys. See you, in, see you in the next video. Oh, and my friend Kevin Allen just started a YouTube channel, so I'm gonna link him down below. Uh, oh, and Ash E. Lux just started, or Ash Et Lux? I'm not sure how it's pronounced. But anyway, one of the like nicest commenters on YouTube who I always see commenting on all my friends' videos and Instagram posts. Uh, he just started his own channel, so I'll link him down below too. So go check them out. I love you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.